you, you because of your audience, if you offered a full on service and you said, I'm gonna take 10 and we're gonna charge 25, 30,000 a month or whatever, to, and you had your team already and you just could focus in on them and you know you could write an ad for them every month. That way you don't have to show up and that's right. continuity. And that's what allowed us to self-fund our software and do that. And you know, we didn't have to take on, and it was so much, we made way more cash flow with less people. All right, well, that means that unfortunately we have to go to Billy. <laughs> Last but not least, what you, you got know, for us, man? And, um, and why, am I, why am I just now hearing about you investing in software companies? So, so Mike, I told you about my buddy, Mike Kutch for the three, uh, he's he sold a service-based company in like Colorado. Like I've been trying to link you guys probably as many times as you try to link me up with Ray. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, he's all in it. And I just told him, I said, look, I got customers. Like, I feel like the only thing I've really been betting on this last decade is brand and people knowing me. So I just want to be able to move customers to it. And so he's the back end guy. That's all Silicon Valley, et cetera. And I'm like, bro, find me companies. We will get fucking users on them, increase, you know what I mean? I was like, that's our, my shtick is that just small businesses. So, um, you know, really leaning into that. Uh, my questions is mostly on actually, I, I wanted to hear from each of you is something that I don't do very often is sell high ticket. Almost never, you know, like we'll have our like 5k, 10k things, but like very rarely do I ever sell anything that's like hundred K. Like I have a couple one one people where i'm like hey give me give me a hundred grand check and i'll uh you know hit me up i'll kind of do consultation or if you need my team for something you know like support right so i got a couple people i'm doing with that plus like a percentage i think like anywhere from like 10 to 30 percent of the business or 10 to 50 of the profits and um doing that with three people right now and i love it like they're the best people to work with they're great etc but also too like i wouldn't want to like continue to stack that because I just value my time. Like I'd be, I really like being able to just fucking do what the fuck I want, you know? But anyways, my question is in regards to high ticket profit maxers, either activities, events, you know, agreements, engagements, where they're just cash cows personally, not to the company, but your pockets of just like, you know what? This was just a super fucking profitable thing I did. Didn't take me like just profit moves, right? um that you guys have made that just were like man that was a lot of profit i didn't even think about you know what i mean just anything that comes to mind and i'm i guess what i'm looking for is just creativity right just like oh shit i never thought about that or damn i have this and i've never offered that like you know what i mean like that shit where i email after this oh, god damn it i should have done that boom like you know so just throwing that out there that's my question cool want me to go go uh, dan go ahead i've done this yeah um uh, so there's a couple of things here. One, taking the percentage of the companies is ultimately what, what your shot at glory is. Like if you get mm. five, 10 companies, like that's your real shot at glory. Cause when they have exits, it's not a joke, you know? Um, yeah. I say I've never experienced I took a piece I of haven't sneak done that. Yeah. I, I had two exits, December 5th and December 9th. Uh, one was a monthly box for beards and one was called sneaker con sneaker con. I just, came in two years ago and we sold to ebay and it was cuckoo like my amount of time i had to tell us the number the Dan. tell us the number what that check look like the, the amount of time i had to put in was irrelevant you, was like <laughs> <laughs> what's the number Dan? give me a range bro give me a range so for you <laughs> taking a piece of you know he's you not gonna ever. He never tells. I'm I'm extremely open about numbers. I'm allowed to be open about. I'm like the most open about numbers in the world. Uh, sure. In all my videos and content, just certain like eBay eBay locked me up really good. I signed a 98 page agreement with them. <laughs> Fair enough. So, but what I'm saying is, you getting pieces of companies because you, you getting pieces of companies because you're the most famous social media marketer there is on the planet it's easy like for you to get it the way you can get it the way you can get it easier is what i mentioned to you last year i think you should have a 25k mastermind mm. because the deal flow from your 25 the, the fact that you're going to make 2.5 to 5 million bucks a year on you know having 100 200 members of your mastermind right. that's easy right that's just good nice to have seven figures of clean cash coming in it's 
it's dependable. You know, it's coming. Uh, if you want to, if you want them to pay monthly, then they got to pay 25% higher. That mm. for you is easy, right? Like, um, because you've got thousands of people that have attended your events in the past. Yeah. You've got lots of people that have paid you 5k days. I mean, the amount of people that will sign up here at 25k, I think you could have the fastest selling out 25k in history. I think you could sell it out in one day. Like, Damn, I never thought Jimmy, about it. So Jimmy, like, what would I offer with that? Three weekends a year mm. at your office in San Diego. Don't even go anywhere. Make it easy but, for yourself. You, know, you, know, you want to hear something <laughs> crazy? Is I've been so, like, I, ha I haven't offered that. I haven't offered that, which sounds just fucking cuckoo, considering I have a studio six steps away from us <laughs> for that. So, um, yeah. So, so Jimmy, Jimmy Rex did one for 20K. He sold out in one day. Sold out in a few hours. And really? 50 people paying 20K, that's a million bucks. Wednesday, like he just sold out. And he made his mastermind about adventures. Like they go like jump off cliffs. They go to, the, you know, Machu Picchu. Like they go do adventures. What you do you think would be the core offering the most, of mine? Yeah. It would only be about marketing because you, you want the clients to be marketing agencies. You want the right. clients to be, you at 25K, it's a no brainer. Could you sell it for more? Of course you could, I wouldn't because you have mm -hmm. to give them more time. By the way, I have two masterminds with a hundred members each. I have barely ever talked to anyone. Yeah, sure. The, the time commitment is not as serious as you think. It's really busy during the time of throwing the events before, sure. during, and after for that couple of weeks, but you have teams for that. And I'm obviously you, my, you have access to all my staff to help you with that as well. Like you throwing 25 K mastermind will net you two to 5 million bucks a year, hands down. But more importantly, the people in the room, the same way you see me raise money for all these deals, yeah. the people in the room, if, even on my masterminds, I would still do them mm. because I'm raising $5 million, $3 million in 10 minutes and 30 minutes during my mastermind events. So mm. for you, if you're like, Hey guys, uh, as part of the mastermind, I'm also going to present you offers to deals. Oh, by the way, if you guys want me to get more involved, my team to get more involved, we'll take 5% of your company, depending on the size of your business. Or if you're a brand new startup, we want 20% or, Hey, if you want to do a joint venture? It's 50, 50, the deal flow that you get from the 25, they're vetting themselves because they paid you 25K. Mm. So not the random DMs. You don't have to worry. Yeah, like wonder exactly. if they have money. They paid you 25K to be there. And so you getting a couple of million bucks a year, that's just nice extra money. That's easy. The three yeah. weekends a year are fun because you do it at your, like, literally just doing San Diego. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, you just take them out paintballing. You take them to the Petco park. You just do all the same stuff you like to do anyways. And yeah. now it's paid for. Um, and like you said, you also now have a budget to go book some big name talent, which helps you as your personal brand even more uh, because that fits you so well to have that, some of those big name talent, this will pay for it. Hmm. And then the deal flow that you get from having that room full of hundred to 200 people that have marketing agencies and paid you 25 grand is like the deal flow makes the two or 3 million bucks a year, nothing compared to what you'll get from having it. Yeah. Touche. Too fucking shay. All right. I like that. Ray, I'm you have gonna, anything on that? That's great. It. That was great advice. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we ran, I, that was awesome advice. Uh, we ran a, a mastermind for seven years and we had two levels, 20,000 and 50,000. And um, we did a lot of the things that he's talking about. We went, you know, shooting, we did uh, uh, fishing, we did a big fishing charter and had a competition like Oh, right. what, what's the hook on that? Like, uh, like what, what's the mastermind called? Like, what's the, why do you join the mastermind? You know, um, one to be, to be, to up level your game, right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's probably the one, you know, the biggest is networking, up level your game, be around big players. And, um, and we had, um, I mean, I think probably the biggest year we had like 90 in there. I think we had yeah. maybe 15 at the 50,000 level and the rest were at the 20,000 level. And, um, and what's and the difference was. between 20 and 50? What's that? What's the difference between 20 and 50 when you pay 20 versus 50? Yeah. So we had, plat it, ours was called a top earner club and we had platinum and diamond and um, the diamonds we would just do additional stuff for. So mm -hmm. we would have a separate diamond only day. So if we had a, um, I believe it was, I think we just did two days. It was like Saturday and Sunday was the mastermind, but on Friday we'd have our diamonds in there. So mm -hmm. we made it, you know, we made the, the retreats three days and, you know, treated them great. I mean, took, took really good care of them. I mean, of all of seven years of doing it, 
I think I only refunded one guy. I mean, mm. it, it is so people love it. You get better people there. Now you you have an additional thing that we we really I mean for me to do deals right with my people is they get me on their company stage, which is, you know, a big deal. I, right. I want to do that uh, for you. I think there's, you know, way more, you know, upside there. Um, last year I, I killed it in, uh, in 2020. I just went on kind of a spiritual journey and a spiritual yeah. kind of thing. And, um, and I could, I could start it back up. Uh, I haven't yet, but it, it's, it's great. You know, I, you get closer with people, um, and the right people, the people you actually want to, it's not paying the ass. So I don't know if there's anything much I can add yeah. to what Dan said, cause I was, you know, pretty much, I agree with what he said. All right, guys. Sounds like I have a mastermind now. Motherfuckers. So there's also <laughs> another, there's another route too. Um, yeah. cause I know Billy does like his time and, and knowing Billy, I don't know how much he would enjoy that. Mm. I know for him, if it's the right it, people, right? Like if it's the really right people, which, well, it, I mean, you know, for what I, mm. so my, the, the my tweak in my model which a lot of people have no idea i did was i stopped from my particular agency services accepting everyone and we just went just high ticket right so mm -hmm. even to just us to do the marketing it starts it's i say starts at 15 grand a month but that is just like a couple of ad platforms but mm -hmm. and the reason i did that was i realized that the companies that you and i would want to work with 25 grand a month 30 grand a month in average, like to, to have us handle everything, helping them with ad copy, helping them with ad creatives, running, mm -hmm. managing the Facebook, the YouTube, everything, like almost like a built in um, CMO was more yeah. beneficial than trying to go an agency charging five or 10 grand a month and doing one platform and mm -hmm. this thing where they stay in. So for me, I think for you, you, because of your audience, if you offered a full on service and you said, I'm going to take 10 and we're going to charge 25, 30,000 a month or whatever. To, and you had your team already and you just could focus in on them and, you know, you could write an ad for them every month. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to show up. And that's right. continuity. And that's what allowed us to self-fund our software and do that. And, you know, we didn't have to take on, and it was so much, we made way mm -hmm. more cash flow with less people. Yeah. So you have both routes. You can do the mastermind or you could do what you already have set up and what you do best go after the companies that can really, like I have a meeting tonight with a big uh, company that's coming on for 25 grand a month doing our mark, doing their marketing. They, they're wanting to, I, I don't know if I called you and told you, um, I think so. they are, a, uh, a, their company does food prep. So it's one of the biggest oh, wow. food prep companies like uh, organic, um, you know, and, and like, you know, we have a handful of clients and it's, it's so much less um, stressful. And I'm Simple able to can do it in your sleep. Great recurring. You're like, cool. Yeah. And you get to do it. I wanted to do something that was high ticket, but kept me in my element. I felt just like you, I think my superpower is marketing and advertising. Yeah, I like masterminding and coaching and all that. But for me, my problem is like a lot of us, I struggle. I don't sleep well at night if my students aren't doing well. And mm -hmm. even if like I could have a million, we love you. One, I don't like, I didn't get results. It, bothers <laughs> me. it just always has. Like, so I had to go to something where I knew I could have my hand on it and truly help the business grow and mm -hmm. still position myself for what I was worth. So that might be another route yeah, to get that, high ticket yeah. versus doing something I know you probably wouldn't want to do. Well, what I like about all those things is I'm not offering them at all right now. So I, it's good to hear about just like the different perspectives of there. You know, I feel like on the, you said like, Ray, you on your spiritual journey. I feel like in the last 18 months, I've been on this, like kind of recalibrating where it's kind of like, all right, I got to this cool place of where I was probably honestly, admittedly, overly complacent right now and then like now i'm like okay 33 it's the time to let's go i'm, I'm back on the saddle let's what, what's up all right not for the bullshit billy like you had your time to chill now it's time to to go and go hard and then you know i see fucking grant with donald I'm like what am i doing i'm, I'm gonna stand I'm like where am i you know like or like fucking dan like hulk hogan's coming out like you know like i'm just like on all these things, I'm just like, man, okay. All right, Billy, we, okay, it's, it's time. So this is good to hear, like, well, you know, it's, it's yeah. I can be strategic, get what I want without, you know, having to, my life's not going to be fucking ruined. And <laughs> I think what I mean? what, one little tweak we did is we started with three retreats a year and we reduced it to two and literally nothing changed. Nothing changed. We still got the same amount of sales. We just had 
thirty percent less retreat. Mm. That's Billy, if note. you don't, Billy, if you don't sell two hundred spots, I think that'd be a failure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find. Seriously, Dan, what would you call yeah. my mastermind then? Let me ask you that last question, Dan. Like for you, best, like best damn marketing mastermind. That's actually a really good idea for genius. <laughs> that's, that's who you are. Yeah, that's true. Nice. It's literally, cool. Did you guys, you did you guys get value this. from this? Is this helpful? For yeah, sure. A little twist. We we're allowed to be selfish a little bit. All right, cool, man. Well, look, I only have one thing, and I'm, I'm gonna end it. Um, so um. Yeah instead of really going real deep on like, um, you know, spending 20 minutes on my thing, I just have a, I want to go more broad. Um, I, I've, I've started a new software company um, and I actually wrote this question down and I just, and I tell, I told my team this, I said, I'm either going to be known as like the, the smartest CEO ever or the dumbest. <laughs> um, and it's okay. Cause I can always pivot. Um, but uh, we're, we're doing this wait list um, strategy. So the software is not available for everyone. Um, and they basically watch a demo, um, and they get basically sent invitations to you to get a license. And, um, it's legit waitlist. Like you might not get in, um, and, and be able to use the software. What do you think about that? And, and the concept and idea came about from the whole clubhouse, what I saw, how, how I saw clubhouse launched. And to me, the second clubhouse let everybody in is when I felt like it dipped off the cliff. Like I saw value in that whole sure. invitation. So that was the Hype initial idea. Let me get an invite. Where's my link? They right? did an excellent job. They really did. Yeah. So I, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about that model from a software perspective? And I would, I would love your feedback on that. I'll go last since we talked the most. I mean, wait lists are great. You just have to, People have to know that they're missing out. People have to know about the FOMO and they have to know that certain people that got in or their competitors got in or only the cool kids mm -hmm. got in. There has to be something that's not just a, a number saying only 1,000 spots and there's 41,000 people that try to get in. It's not just a number thing. It's an emotional thing. FOMO is emotion. It's mm -hmm. The first word is fear. Fear is an emotion. It's one of the most intense emotions that we have. And so to create the fear of missing out, you actually actually have to create fear. And that has to be more than just a number of like, oh, there's only a thousand spots. So understanding what is it that's going to make me nervous that I'm not in, but Billy got in, or what's going to make me nervous that my competitor got in or my blah, 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 got in. How do I get in? What do I have to do to get in? And so you can't create that just by saying there's a wait list. Got it. So now, what if you experienced the tool and then found out it was a wait list, meaning like, even to find out there was a wait list you would have experienced so you know that what you can't get versus like me telling you about it. So for example, like one of the things with our software is everybody that watches the demo or watches it experiences it immediately. Like you get to actually use it as you're watching the demo. So um, does that increase, is that, an, is that part of fear that I'm creating? Like if you saw something happen and then you realize you couldn't, is that, is that a good enough pull? Cause that was my thought process behind it. That's more like lust. Like you get that kiss from the girl and now you're like, right. wow, I really want to go to second base and third base. And just right. Just right. Like tip. you just so got lust that better than fear. <laughs> well, I, lust, I mean, is, I lust, is, lust is even more intense. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. I think, you know, like the training and the gamification of the people who do get in, right? Like what, what made people clamor for clubhouse? It wasn't, it wasn't the wait list. It was that so many other people were using it and talking about it. And you're like, dang, you're, you're peering in the window and you're like, mm. man, Joe's in there. And so like, maybe that's an agreement of, Hey, you know, we're going to pluck you off the wait list, but here's the rules. You got to do this, this, and this, or, you know, some kind of sharing, some kind of screenshotting or, or something. I don't know what exactly what that looks like, but you know, it's, it was the, the buzz. It wasn't just the wait list. It was the buzz of who was on that made everyone else like freak out. I mean, I would, I would get emails like, Hey, can you get me in, man? I'm just like, yeah. like wait to, to throw on what Ray's saying. So, you know, I'm a hardcore gamer, but so I play Madden and, and Madden, I <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm like Madden to death. So I, I play Madden super hardcore and I play this game mode called ultimate team. And in Madden Ultimate Team, you get cards. Some are like 70 overall, some are 80 overalls. Obviously, the 99 Randy Moss is like the greatest player or whatever. But 
the challenge is, is that you have to play against some of these people who have these fucking special cars that you don't have. So they have like a, if you're, of course you're going to beat me deep if you're running with a 99 speed Randy Moss. And I say that because I like the idea of your tool being the 99 Randy Moss and sh going with like what Dan was saying is showing like, yo, this person used it. Here's the results that they fucking got using this tool. But guess what? You can't get it. Look at this plan about to run with Randy Moss. Yeah, but you can't use Randy Moss. You got to get on the wait list. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is this? Is What do you mean I can't use 99 Randy Moss? But they're getting this, you know, almost as if like the only reason why you got those mm. results is because you're using Eboo. It's the only reason why you got those results is because you're using Eboo. Like, come on, you're cheating. You're using the hack, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, they'll complain about it, but they want it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, you can't mm. use, or like in Goldeneye back in the day, it was this character, Oddjob. Everybody was like, Oddjob's cheating, Oddjob's cheating, until they could be the same motherfucker too. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so, yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, you guys, that was worth 100 million. I think I'm on the right track then. Hey, you can't give this out for free, bro. You can't. I don't know if you can. Was well, this cool? <laughs> like, I mean, I've never seen it done. I've never seen it done. And my last thing because is, is for you guys. I'd love for you all to just let me know at least one person you think could get value from this as well. Like if you know somebody that's crushing it in business, they got to be doing eight or nine figures and uh, wouldn't mind meeting new cool people. Um, definitely send them my way. And then also I'd love for all of you guys to connect. Ray, I definitely think you would do, would, I want you to connect with, with Dan and Billy. Yeah. And uh, any, for, for, for multiple reasons, I think that you'd add value to them and I'm always around them. So hopefully that brings well, you, you around. I'll say guess. this too is uh, Ray and, and, and Vince, like, have y'all been a hundred mil event? No, I mean, Dan yeah, doesn't yeah, invite that's... me, man. I mean, <laughs> what's up, Dan? Like I was going to say like that, <laughs> I think that would be really dope. No, I definitely, uh, I definitely missed a couple. I, I something came up, but I definitely want to go to get down there at yeah. 100 million. Ray, Ray, I need your number. I need your number. So yeah. you can get offline. Vince, you could text us or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna um stop the recording and I'll let us all connect and and do that. Well, listen, guys, um, we did it. I, I didn't think we could get through in an hour and ten, and I think we were pretty mm -hmm. intense. Hopefully, we all, you guys who got a chance to kind of see what goes on That's in great. high end masterminds. You got a chance. And if you have a chance to join one, I highly, highly advise you. Be sure to check out everybody that you see here. They're all amazing people. You can learn a lot from them. And until the next one, I'll see you guys on the internet later. I hope you enjoyed the show. We're having a lot of fun with the Battle Mastermind and we're gonna keep them coming for you. But you got to do me one favor. And that's just hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you on the internet later.